Hello, John. Yes. Hey, this is uh, Gary. I'm with uh, Roy's Lawn and Lube. What can I do for you? Uh, well, it looks like we accidentally treated your lawn this week. We were supposed to treat one of your neighbors. Oh, but... you, you're kidding me. Oh, no, no. I'm very sorry about that. It won't happen again. We've we just, It's like some orders got mixed up, and we accidentally... They went to your house instead of your neighbor, Harold. Okay, I mean, I'm not going to do anything. I mean, I appreciate you calling me and explaining the situation. Hey, I noticed you have dogs there, though. Um, you're going to want to keep the dogs completely off the lawn for at least the next month. The next month? Yeah, yeah, because it's uh, very toxic. Uh, that's, well, that's kind of impossible, buddy. Just let them go in the garage or something, you know? Who are you supposed to treat? Uh, a guy named Harold. He lives, like, uh, a block away, like, on the next street over. He's at number two on the next street. I need I need the name of your company. Uh, it's called Roy's Lawn and Lube. Roy's Lawn and Lube? Yes, uh-huh. But, um, has your grass started dying yet? No, my lo- my lawn has not started dying. In fact, it looks pretty green after this rain we've had. Yeah, yeah because of the rain, that's going to mix the chemicals together, and it's going to start turning yellow soon, then it's going to completely fall out. Well, then I'm going to have to contact my lawyer. I'm having a wedding reception in this backyard. Oh. What you're telling me is kind of fucking up things big time. Oh, look, make sure on the wedding reception, don't let any kids touch the, the dirt and don't let any pets on the dirt because it's very toxic. It's it's like grass isn't going to grow there for years to come. Why would you do that to somebody's lawn? Well, that's what he asked for. But that's not our fault. It's it's Harold's fault. Oh, people grass. came on my property and sprayed my lawn without my permission. Now don't tell me it's this man's fault. Well, it's either his fault or it's your fault. Right? Why would it be my fault? Well, nobody was there to answer the door, so they just went ahead and sprayed it. Excuse me, we work. Excuse me. You know how much you've destroyed my property value? Like, you're not going to sell within the next five years, right? Because it'll start growing back after five years. Oh, you are fucking crazy. This is absolutely insane. Well, you're not going to be selling in f- within five years, right? How do you know what I'm going to be doing? And what are the odds that you're selling your house within five years? The odds are I'm in my 60s and I might be selling and downsizing. Yeah, well, you know, by the time you get it sold, they'll be able to plant some new grass and it'll be fine. So who's getting married? My son. Oh, okay. Well, maybe you can hold the reception at Harold's house. I don't think so. Because of the mix-up, you know. (laughs) The mix-up.